Taranto cancer deaths. In the Tamburi neighbourhood of Taranto, overshadowed by a notorious steel factory, Teresa Battista faces a daily battle against harmful dust. For over three decades, she has cared for the graves at St Bruno Cemetery, combating the pervasive iron ore dust that mars the marble t tombs, a clear indicator of the pollution caused by the nearby factory. Since its inception in 1965, the steelworks has been implicated in numerous cases of cancer, including the loss of Teresa Batista's brothers, leaving a somber mark on the community. The steel, factor, the steel factory, once hailed as a symbol of industrial growth in Italy's less affluent south, is now scrutinised for its environmental and health impacts. Following unsuccessful negotiations with ArcelorMittal, the main owner since 2018, the Italian government, led by Giorgio Maloney, has appointed a commissioner to ensure the continuation of the plant's operations. This move highlights the ongoing conflict between job creation and the severe health risks faced by local residents. Originally built in the 1960s after being turned down by other cities, the plant transformed Taranto from a city reliant on fishing and farming into an industrial centre, attracting a vast workforce. Yet, this development has come with significant environmental and health costs. Emissions from the steelworks, consisting of, of a dangerous blend of minerals, metals and carcinogens, have not only devastated the local fishing industry, but have also led to an increase in cancer and other health issues among the population. Research and data clearly link the factory's emissions to a higher incidence of diseases, including cancer, with rates significantly exceeding the national average. Healthcare professionals such as paediatrician Anna Maria Moschetti have consistently drawn attention to the negative health outcomes caused by the factory, especially highlighting the greater burden on Toronto's most disadvantaged. The city's narrative is filled with stories of grief as families mourn the loss of loved ones to illnesses they attribute to industrial pollution. One such story involves Lorenzo Zarata, a young boy whose brain tumour contained metals traced back to the factory's emissions, illustrating the deadly impact of industrial pollutants. The presence of the factory has divided the community, with some depending on it for their livelihoods, while others suffer from its harmful effects. Initiatives to make the plant less damaging, such as adopting greener technologies, face financial and operational hurdles, leaving its future in doubt. The ongoing debate is visually re represented by murals throughout Toronto, commemorating young cancer victims and reminding, reminding us of the human toll of industrial advancement. At its core, the situation in Toronto mirrors a global dilemma faced by men, many industrialized areas. The challenge of balancing economic growth with the need to safeguard public health and the environment. This complex narrative underscores the crucial question of how societies can pursue development without compromising the well-being of their inhabitants.